Welcome to the Art of Money podcast with Art McPherson. And thanks for checking out the Art of Money podcast. My name is Mark Owens alongside Art McPherson and Luke McCarty. All the information for the McPherson Financial Group. You can find it at theartofmoneyradio.com. You know, we've been talking about it. Inflation, the situation in Ukraine. We're dealing with tax season right now. And now, of course, gasoline prices up more than a dollar from this time last year, and they're saying that it could be up another 75% before Memorial Day. Well, Patrick DeHaan from Gas Buddy predicts it's going to get worse before it gets better. Switch over to summer gasoline will also cost motorists at the pump in the months ahead as the nation transitioned to more expensive summer gasoline. In addition, gasoline demand is starting to rise not only in the U.S., but globally as COVID cases come down and Americans hit the road ahead of spring break. In addition, refineries are starting maintenance season. It's just one thing after another causing financial anxiety. Have you heard of that? Do you have clients dealing with financial anxiety? And how do you calm the fears a little bit? We definitely have more anxiety in our world today than we did pre-pandemic, for sure. I mean, it it felt like in 2020, that year took forever because everything was shutting down. Everything was, you know, you couldn't even go out to dinner. You couldn't go out to eat. Now, thankfully, in the free state of Florida, which I call it now, thankfully, we had about a six-week shutdown for us where we had other states around this country shut down and are still shut down. So, I mean... Our suffering was minimized. However, it's just a heightened state of ugh, that everybody's feeling, I think, <laughs> through this pandemic. I'm actually surprised gas prices aren't even higher yeah. with how quickly the price of oil has gone up. Because usually when oil goes up, gas goes up right along with it. However, when oil goes down, gas kind of slows down with it. It's kind of like the banking industry, right? When the Federal Reserve comes out with an interest rate, the Fed funds rate, you don't immediately start making money in your savings. The mm-hmm. banks are trying to not do that for a while, so they make some more money. So I'm actually surprised, in, not that I'm ever voting for or wanting higher gas prices. I mean, I drive an F-150 and <laughs> I purposely have the larger gas tank. Um, it doesn't affect my gas mileage, but it's 36 gallons. So mm-hmm. when gas gets four It's over five, 100 bucks to fill that up. Oh, yeah. yeah. So my, my credit card shuts off. I got to swipe it twice. <laughs> I do not like doing that with the kids in the car. <laughs> I mean, just it's, it's never good. So I think gas is going quite a bit higher. We were talking a little bit before we got started about Social Security and the Social Security Administration estimates that almost nine of 10 Americans age 65 and older receive benefits, which could represent about 30 percent of their income. So the Finance Buzz website, they had a couple of options on ways to increase that Social Security check. And I know you see that article. Do you agree or can you offer some tips? Yeah, I agree. I mean, some of them are kind of outlandish, right? Make more money, of course. We don't want to do that. But some of them are, you know, check your earnings history, you know, work at least 35 full years. That's how Social Security is calculated off your 35 highest earning years adjusted for inflation, right? And then, you know, claim spousal benefits, if you can. And then a big one here that we're focused on with Mark, who's going to be on the show next, is avoid paying tax on Social Security, right? That's how you make your check bigger by not paying taxes on it. There's ways to do that. One of the things that you went over last week at the seminar, Luke, is you were talking about Social Security at River Rocks. We actually did this last week, and uh, he had a whole presentation talking about how to take $120,000 of retirement income and reposition your assets in a way that we would save the average person over $11,000 in tax. So just by rearranging how you make income withdrawals, how you use IRA withdrawals, how you can convert some of those IRA assets to Roths and doing those steps, taking the time, you can actually take taxable income and make it tax-free income. And if you get a below a certain threshold with Social Security, it'll get you where your Social Security is completely non-tax. So having all those things coordinate and work together makes a huge difference on what you keep Mm -hmm. Uh, versus what you just make. Right. So we had a full house last week at River Rock. So thanks to all those who showed up. It was a it was a fun event. Um, We gave away Art's book. Right. Nothing is certain but death and taxes until now. Until now. It's not what you make. It's what you keep. And um, that example Art was talking about, um, you know, it takes some planning. But that was an eleven thousand dollars savings a year. Yes. Annually. So if you do this and you can get there in your 50s or 60s or even 70s think about how much money you will save and that's it today's current tax code that's not assuming the tax rate goes back up after 2026 or assuming 
you know, the 30 trillion in government debt um, never gets paid back, right? There's taxes are going up. So this is assuming without those changes, how much money you would save. So it would be great to be retired and not have to worry about the tax rates and the tax code. That would be stress-free retirement in my book. 772-281-5223. How you reach out to the team at the McPherson Financial Group and how can I make a little more money? How can I supplement my income as we head into retirement? And you said it was a great event, uh, Luke, at River Rocks. If we want to get more information about more upcoming events from the McPherson Financial Group, the best place to go is go on the website, follow on social media. How can we find out more information? Yeah, both ways, you know. Follow us on social media. Go to our website. There's a way you can give us your contact information through the website, and you can just as easily say, hey, I want to be at the next event. Please invite me. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's as simple as that. You can email us, email Art me. You can find us on, on the website with our email addresses. It's pretty simple to get on the list. And we had a full event. We had to turn people down last nice. week. So uh, if you tell us you want to come to the next event, we'll, we'll give you first dibs. Nice. And will that give us the opportunity to have a little one-on-one time? Like, I know it's an educational opportunity, but, like, can we – I don't want to say corner you, but if I do want to talk to you, Luke, for a couple of minutes and I got some questions, is there time scheduled for that? Yeah, we do. We do a question and answer afterwards, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that typically is what we'll do. Make sure we can answer any questions that people have thought of and didn't get a chance to ask us, you Mm -hmm. know, during the presentation. Plus, if they're interested, we allow them to come back in for a free consultation and we can give them a hour of their own time to just really pick our brains and see if they want to move forward and become a client or if they just want to get some information about something. Thanks for listening. Want more from Art McPherson of McPherson Financial Group? Find us online at artofmoneyradio.com. We are an independent financial services firm helping individuals create retirement strategies using a variety of financial and insurance products to custom suit their needs and objectives. Securities offered through World Equity Group, Inc., member FINRA and SIPC, a registered investment advisor. Investment advisory services offered through ProStatus Group, LLC. McPherson Financial Group and ProStatus Group, LLC are separate entities and are not owned or controlled by World Equity Group, Inc. Exposure to ideas and financial vehicles discussed should not be considered investment advice or recommendation to buy or sell any financial vehicle. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Investments can fluctuate and when redeemed may be worth more or less than when originally invested. Investment financial professionals are not licensed in all 50 states. Art McPherson is not affiliated with nor endorsed by the Social Security Administration or any other government agency and does not provide legal or tax advice. Please consult with your attorney, accountant, and or tax advisor for advice concerning your particular circumstances. Annuity guarantees rely solely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. By contacting us, you may be provided with information about insurance and annuity products offered through Arthur McPherson. Florida Insurance License Number a one. Today's show has been a work of art. 